Preservation is important at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. The red roofs of the fort's older days are still visible from the air. But while the buildings have remained, many traditions haven't. Like most posts, Fort Sill is caught in the turmoil of the new army. Nowhere are the Army's changes more evident than in basic training. Trainees spend more time with the same drill sergeant than they used to. They get privileges sooner, and they unquestionably eat better. The latest Army mess halls are patterned after civilian cafeterias. Soldiers, even if they're in basic training, get several choices of entrees. They get soft drinks if they want them, and soft ice cream with lunch and dinner if they want it. They do KP duty only during their first few weeks. This is not a horizontal ladder. It's a set of monkey bars. It used to be that you could find monkey bars outside of just about every dining hall. Basic trainees had to swing through the bars before every meal. But they've been eliminated because, in the words of one officer, trainees found them too irritating. Trainees' living quarters look more like college dormitories than army barracks. The buildings, now standardized at forts throughout the country, house three to four men to a room. Bunk beds and foot lockers are out. Single beds, individual lockers, and desks are in. All this has made it harder for officers to control their trainees, and discipline is slacker than in the days after Korea. But officers say it has tightened down since the period just after Vietnam. How about the Volar situation? The Volar Army, the Volunteer Army, was the big thing about three years ago, and it didn't, it didn't really work. Well, some of the Volar are still with us. A lot of the ideas they found that too much liberalization wasn't good. And uh, we want a professional army, sure, but at the same time, many of the old basic concepts can't be forgotten, and, we, and the Army has gone back to many of those old concepts. So, while a drill sergeant is aware that his trainee is a human being, he's also aware that he's still a trainee. Sergeants and officers alike say the Army's biggest problem now is crime. Larceny, according to a senior officer, is the biggest trouble he has. One junior officer describes his trainees as, quote, crooks, people with criminal records, people with personal problems at home, unquote. Other officers say that's an exaggeration. I think the volunteer army uh, is working now, and I think uh, our soldiers are motivated. I think they're doing a good job. Critics disagree. They say the new army, untested in combat, is softer. They point to the number of troops required to support the U.S. Army, a higher number than the Russian army. And they criticize what they think is a lack of discipline. Army officers stress that the service is a reflection of society, echoing the way the country is moving a mirror of its weaknesses as well as its strengths. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News, Fort Sill, Oklahoma.